Hey everyone, me Kevin here with your late night show for August 23rd and news roundup. Donald Trump announced today that the FDA issued an emergency use authorization for convalescent plasma as a potential treatment for COVID-19, which at first I had to check what they meant by convalescent. And apparently they don't mean leftovers from convalescent hospitals for the elderly. It's much less disturbing. They mean taking the goopy liquid that makes up our blood without the red stuff and then injecting that into each other. That's much better. Especially since the FDA and Dr. Fauci both said there wasn't enough evidence for the effectiveness of this treatment just a few days ago. But after Donnie T went on the big T, Twitter, to complain about the FDA, voila, the FDA has approved convalescent plasma for treating COVID-19 in patients. Hmm. This, uh, this comes at the same time as the Financial Times is now reporting that Donald Trump is trying to get approval for a COVID-19 vaccine in October, right before the election and before the vaccine finishes its human trials, because who needs to wait for trials? Let's just give it to everyone. Trump instead believes the FDA is holding up trial enrollment and trial data to try to prevent him from getting reelected by using a vaccine to help him get reelected. This is uh, leaving some of us wonder, why does Trump want us to take his vaccine so badly before the election? I don't know, but I guess we'll just have to take it and wait and see. Or don't take it and wait and see. Speaking of wait and see, Senator Mitch McConnell said on Twitter, quote, the Senate will not pass a standalone legislation for the post office while American families continue to go without the help they need. Instead, Mitch McConnell helped introduce a new skinny bill. The new skinny bill offers every American $300 per week if you're unemployed. So if you're working, went back to work, never stopped working, you're disabled or retired or too young to work, you get nothing. So I guess when Mitch McConnell said he won't pass a bill while American families continue to go without the help they need, he was just stating the obvious. He's not saying that he would do anything about it. Heck, maybe that's why they call it a skinny bill. Here's zero money so you can starve. Then you'll get skinny and you'll save money on SlimFast. There, how's that for stimulus? Anyway, here's a surprising update on the upcoming RNC, the Republican National Convention. First Lady Melania Trump will make her speech Tuesday night so if you remember Michelle Obama's speech last week at the DNC and you liked it, then there's a good chance you're also going to like Melania's speech. No matter if you're left, right, or center, if you like Michelle's speech, you'll like Melania's speech. That is, of course, as long as her speechwriters do what they did last time and plagiarize Michelle Obama's speech. But at least this time, there will be one thing original about Melania's speech, the location. For the first time in history, this convention will be held at the White House's Rose Garden, famous for its close proximity to the Oval Office. This will allow her to be coached off camera by an expert telling her, Melania, slow down, take a pause, look up and shout, lock her up. People love that one. To prepare for its starring role in the Republican National Convention, the Rose Garden also just got a more noticeable facelift than Kellyanne Conway's. The new flowers in the garden are largely pastels, which are favored by the first lady, but President Trump wanted to replace them with flowers that reminded him of Mitch McConnell and the other Republican senators who won't fight for his payroll tax, pansies. A seating area on the east side of the Rose Garden has been removed and will be replaced by a yet to be determined art installation, which if Donald Jr. and Eric Trump have it their way, It'll be a gigantic painting of dogs playing poker. White House officials also refused to reveal the overall cost for this Rose Garden renovation, but they claim this renovation was paid for by private donations, meaning they were probably paid for by Steve Bannon's border wall fundraising operation, which he's now being indicted for fraud for. And when you think about it, when over 175,000 Americans are dead and millions are unemployed in the middle of a pandemic, there's nothing more comforting than a redesigned rose garden. 
And even though federal rules prohibit the White House from being a setting for particularly political events, the Trump family will be the first to use the executive mansion for a political event. Of course, Donald Trump likes federal rules just as much as Elon Musk likes the SEC. Which speaking of Elon Musk, stock futures are up, COVID cases are down, back to school is on, and Halloween is just 69 days away. Well, good luck, everybody. Make sure to get life insurance in as little as five minutes. Make sure to get your two free stocks with Weeble when you deposit $100. And check out that expiring coupon code for the amazing programs down below so you could learn the basics of finance, money, stocks, real estate, and how to make YouTube videos from home. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time. <laughs>